In the dynamic landscape of NHL expansion and relocation, several cities have emerged as potential contenders for new franchises. From nostalgic favorites to untapped markets, each location offers unique opportunities and challenges. We've done our research, so now let's explore some of the top candidates and the factors shaping their bids for NHL teams. Atlanta. Now Atlanta's history with the NHL is a tale of highs and lows with two previous attempts ending in relocation. Their first venture came in the 1970s with the Atlanta Flames, born at a time where the league rivaled with the WHA. While the Flames made sporadic playoff appearances, their stint was marred by limited success and eventually waning attendance, leading to their relocation to Calgary in 1980. The second chance arrived in 1999 with the Atlanta Thrashers, marking the city's return to NHL action. However, despite a decade-long run, the Thrashers struggled both on and off the ice, managing just one playoff appearance before financial challenges and ownership issues paved their way to move to Winnipeg in 2011. Atlanta's distinction as the only city to lose two NHL teams hasn't deterred discussions from a potential return, even though there are many concerns. Despite this, Atlanta boasts the largest U.S. television market without a team and holds the distinction of being the largest market without representation in all four major North American sports leagues. With numerous cities vying for NHL expansion or relocation, prioritizing Atlanta's bid over others presents a challenge. In summary, while Atlanta's hockey history is marked by setbacks, the possibility of a third chance remains uncertain amidst competition from other eager contenders. Next stop, we got Houston. Houston emerges as a compelling candidate for NHL expansion, particularly due to the enthusiasts of the defunct WHA. The city's association with the legendary Houston Arrows was one of the WHA's most successful franchises during the 70s. This just adds an intriguing historical dimension to its candidacy. The Arrows were led by NHL icon Gordie Howe during his memorable comeback to pro hockey. This left an indelible mark on the sport, winning division titles and two AFCO Cups before the WHA merged with the NHL. Despite previous attempts to bring NHL hockey to Houston, including efforts to relocate the Cleveland franchise in 1978 and speculation about the Edmonton Oilers in the 90s, the city has yet to secure a permanent NHL presence. However, with Tillman Fertitta, owner of the NBA's Houston Rockets, championing the cause, the prospect of an NHL franchise in the city is plausible. Fertitta's ownership of the Rockets, coupled with the Houston status as the fourth largest city in the United States and its robust media ranking seventh, positions the city favorably for NHL expansion. Discussions between Fertitta and NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman underscore the ongoing interest and potential for a first-time NHL franchise in Houston. With the infrastructure already in place, including the Toyota Center venue shared by the Rockets, Houston appears primed to welcome NHL hockey. As Fertitta himself expressed, the dream of bringing NHL action to Houston is palpable, making the city a compelling and seemingly logical choice for NHL expansion. Kansas City is the next plausible destination on our list. For fans of the Kansas City Scouts, the memories of their brief stint in the NHL may be bittersweet. The franchise, which began play in 1974 alongside the Washington Capitals, endured a tumultuous two-season run before relocating to Denver to become the Colorado Rockies, now known as the New Jersey Devils. The scouts' tenure was plagued by struggles on the ice, managing just 27 wins in two seasons, including a particularly dismal 135-8 stretch to end the 1975 campaign. Amidst the crowded NHL and WHA landscape, both the Scouts and the Capitals found themselves outmatched and unable to compete, with Kansas City's sparse attendance ultimately sealing the team's fate. However, the hockey landscape in Kansas has evolved since those challenging years. The city boasts a fervent sports culture, rallying behind successful franchises like the Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs, and the Kansas City Royals. Moreover, the T-Mobile Center in downtown Kansas stands as a modern NHL quality venue, primed to host professional hockey once again. And there's better potential for a geographical rivalry with the nearby St. Louis Blues also adds further intrigue to the Kansas City's bid for an NHL franchise, and this promises to expand the league's presence in the Midwest. Yet, despite these promising developments, the fact remains that Kansas City, just like Atlanta, carries the stigma of having lost an NHL team in the past. 
While other strong contenders vying for expansion or relocation, the road to securing a new team may prove challenging for Kansas City, despite its compelling case and passionate fan base. If you're enjoying this video so far, leave a like and subscribe to our channel to catch our latest content. And don't forget to click the bell icon for notifications of when we post. Portland. For those advocating for an NHL expansion in the Pacific Northwest, Portland emerges as a compelling candidate. With the recent success of the Seattle Kraken, situated just 200 miles to the north, Portland's bid gains traction, buoyed by the region's burgeoning hockey enthusiasm. Portland boasts a rich sports culture with long-standing franchises like the NBA's Trailblazers and the thriving Portland Timbers in Major League Soccer. Additionally, the city's Winter Hawks of the Western Hockey League enjoy solid support, drawing impressive crowds averaging over 3,000 fans a game. Delving into hockey history, Portland has a storied hockey past, even competing for the Stanley Cup in the early 1900s, albeit fell short against the Montreal Canadiens in 1916. The city's enduring hockey legacy and presence of the Moda Center provide a solid foundation for a potential NHL team. However, Portland's proximity to both the Kraken and the Vancouver Canucks may work against the bid, as the region already boasts two NHL franchises. Furthermore, Portland's chances may be diminished, as attention shifts to more pressing matters within the league's office. And while Portland presents an enticing prospect for NHL expansion, the odds of making it past the initial selection process appear slim given the existing dynamics and competition with the region. Despite its appeal as a wonderful city with a passionate fan base, Portland may struggle to secure a coveted spot in the league's expansion plans. Here's the one you've been waiting for, okay? For those seeking a sentimental favorite within the NHL expansion race, Quebec City emerges as a compelling contender with a rich hockey history and a passionate fan base. The city's beloved Quebec Nordiques were among the four WHA teams that transitioned into the NHL, and they followed up with a successful stint that included multiple playoff appearances and an AFCO Cup victory. Despite their relatively small market size, the Nordiques became one of the league's most competitive organizations, even making the playoffs nine times in 16 seasons and reaching the semifinals on two occasions. The Nordiques boasted an impressive roster of talent, including several NHL Hall of Famers, such as Michel Goulet and Peter Stasny. Additionally, future superstars like Joe Sackick or Peter Forsberg began their illustrious careers with the Nordiques before finding success with the Colorado Avalanche after the team's relocation to Denver. While challenges such as market size and language barriers contribute to the Nordiques' eventual departure, Quebec City has seen significant changes since then. The opening of the Videotron Center in 2015, coupled with a growing population exceeding 550,000, presents a more favorable environment for NHL hockey. Conversations between NHL Commissioner Barry Bettman and government officials further fuel hopes for a team revival in the hockey-crazed city. If sentimentally, there was a way to sway the decision, Quebec City would be undoubtedly the first in line for NHL expansion, particularly if they revive the iconic Nordiques uniforms, a move that is sure to evoke nostalgia among fans and players alike. Last on the list is the Metro Toronto slash Hamilton area. The notion of adding another NHL team to the Toronto metropolitan area, despite the presence of the Maple Leafs, has long been a topic of discussion among hockey enthusiasts. Hamilton, situated just 40 miles southwest of Toronto, emerges as a prime contender given its status as the third largest city in Ontario with a population exceeding 800,000. Hamilton boasts a vibrant sports scenes anchored by the Canadian Football League Tiger Cats and the Ontario Hockey League's Bulldogs. With a metropolitan population surpassing 6 billion, the addition of an NHL team in Hamilton or the broader Toronto metro area could ignite a fierce rivalry with the Maple Leafs, attracting fans who may not align themselves with the existing franchise. While the idea of multiple NHL teams coexisting within a compact geographical area is not unprecedented, New York City is a notable example with its trio of teams. Hamilton's bid for an expansion franchise in 1992 was ultimately unsuccessful, losing out to the Ottawa Senators. Ultimately, while Hamilton presents an enticing prospect for NHL expansion, the league may prioritize establishing a presence in the newer markets before considering adding a third team to the densely populated Toronto region. For more NHL content, click the video on the screen to watch the 20 wildest moments in NHL history. But before you go, let us know in the comments which of the past cities are you rooting for to join the NHL. And if you like this video, 
Don't be a bender. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Help the algorithm. Help us grow. And see you next time.